all right guys so here we are in the hybrid EV shop नट्स को जरा संभाल के रखना वो मैं लाया हूँ ताकि इसमें आप संभाल लो अच्छा वो आपने रखी हुई है अच्छा बस फिर ठीक है So now we are removing the lug nuts from the hybrid ECU and the air filter. This is the first step. This panel will be opened. Yes. This panel will be opened. Yes. Okay. I will put the side of it. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you how the hybrid battery works. Basically, since hybrids do run on electric batteries, some of the maintenance tips for an EV are the same here. You should never charge to the full battery capacity, rather stay in the 20 to the 80 percent zone. This is the first and the most important tip if you own a hybrid car. It's very important that you should have some prying tools because without the proper tools you cannot remove or you could damage the housing the casing of the hybrid battery so that's why you should always have some professional modified tools especially the priors this is very important because most of the casing is of is made up of plastic so you don't want to damage that so most of the questions that i get is that why is the what is the best way to maintain a hybrid battery well to answer that, uh, I would have to say like to maintain the performance and the extent of the lifespan of a hybrid battery car, it's crucial to drive the vehicle regularly. Why? Because the hybrid battery is charged through regenerative braking and the use of the internal combustion engine. Okay. So if the car is not driven regularly, the battery may not be charged fully. That is one of the main reasons you should drive a hybrid car daily. Okay. So here most of the thing is that uh, people don't know is that you should recondition your battery so i'm going to tell you how you can recondition your battery step by step number one charge the battery until the voltage stops rising okay number two discharge the battery to at least 0 0.8 volts per cell number three is that charge the battery again until the voltage stops rising Number four is that discharge the battery to 0.6 cell and charge the battery again until the voltage stops. This is how you recondition your hybrid battery. Now most people don't know that they can damage their hybrid battery. So I'm going to tell you how you can in what conditions you can drive your uh, hybrid car so that you won't damage the hybrid car battery. Well, it can also affect the lifespan, stop and go traffic is the main reason, frequent short trips and extreme temperatures can all shorten the lifespan of a hybrid car battery. To extend the lifespan of a hybrid car battery, it is important to drive the car regularly and to avoid extreme temperatures and humid conditions. Another most common question that I get is that what affects the hybrid battery life? Well. Uh, I would have to say that extreme heat or cold can have a significant effect on the life of a hybrid battery. This is very important. Another significant factor affecting the life of your hybrid vehicle's battery is that the mileage of the battery. Mostly the mileage of a hybrid battery is around 150,000 kilometers to 2 lakh kilometers. Not more than that. So the longer, the farther the vehicle has been driven, the closer you're going to get to the end of your battery's life. That's a true fact.
some of the signs that you're gonna get if your hybrid battery is failing is that you will get a warning light the hybrid system warning light it's also known as a check hybrid system okay so you will have some charging issues with that some reduced range poor fuel, fuel economy and some strange noises from the engine compartment so that's when you know that your battery is going bad <laughs> ये आप बता रही हैं बिल्कुल ये जिंक लगी हुई है कार्बन आया है इसको भी वो इसके बहुत करेंगे तो इसको ना पॉलिश करेंगे बिल्कुल भी नीट हो जाएगी कलर होता है ना इसका कॉपर तो बहुत सो एस यू कैन सी दैट द निकल प्लेटिंग्स वर फुल ऑफ रस्ट एंड जिंक लॉट ऑफ कार्बन वाज ऑन दैट सो दैट्स व्हाई वी वर गे� uh, some period of time in the chemical we are going to brush it off and then dry it up and then we are going to polish that after the polishing is done we are going to get it wiped up and then we are going to install it back again in the housing the orange housing that is applied on the hybrid battery so this is a proper way to clean the nickel plating and it's also very important to do it So the rust is getting removed here, it's, this is one of the most important steps in the cleaning of the hybrid battery fan. So as you guys can see that the hybrid batteries were approximately clean enough but still we had to use some blower on it because it had some hair and some little dust particles and the guys were saying that the hybrid battery cannot be that much clean you must have cleaned it before so I was trying to convince them that this battery has never been opened before and this is the first time the battery has been opened but uh, they were not relying on my words they were saying no you would have you you just had the battery cleaned some months ago so no i was trying to tell them that i really take good care of my car and i don't uh, i avoid the dusty areas most of the time and i don't open the windows of my car a lot especially in the dirty areas 
so that's why the hybrid fan yeah uh, i do regularly clean the hybrid fan by myself uh, after every one or two months so maybe that's the main reason that the batteries were good but uh, i believe they are old now and the time of the batteries have is close to coming to an end so maybe i would have to get it replaced in the coming four to six months maybe yes maybe no i don't know that but if i do get a new pack i would have to suggest to get the lithium oil battery pack uh, i believe that uh, that is uh, coming uh, that has been coming uh, from the 2017 time uh, but not before that uh, maybe i would get a chr pack i don't know so let's see and find out in the future what pack of battery should i Okay, so now the nickel plating is all cleaned up, ready to go, all brushed up, polished and applied back again in the orange housing and all the lug nuts have to be applied by hand one by one, not too loose, not too much tight. So as you can see that the hybrid battery cells are all cleaned up and the alignment has been done the cells have been shuffled up each cell has been shuffled up and now just checking some last things some last checkups have reinstalled all the sensors back in again the hybrid battery is all set ready to go back in the car and now let's see that how how's the performance now so we are gonna क्या कहते हैं क्लीन है तो ब्लो कर सो द बैटरी कवर इज नाउ अप्लाइड बैक अगेन जस्ट सींग इफ एनी थिंग इज रॉन्ग नो नथिंग इज रॉन्ग द लग नट्स इज गोन बी गेट अप्लाइड सून एंड जस्ट चेकिंग अप सम लास्ट थिंग्स सो क्लीनिंग ऑल द कवर विद सम थिनर सो इट्स ऑल पैक पेट्रोल वाला कपड़ा है
Guys, I don't use M oil. It was just a card uh, given to me by this friend. I just hung up in the car. So the hybrid battery is installed. We were just calibrating the batteries. We were just draining out all the batteries to see that it's working or not. The hybrid batteries are working fine. This is the shop hybrid EV. It's located near to the old airport. I uh, would suggest you to come and visit. <laughs> 